When cones were first developed in 1896, they were made in the form of a large cone, which you see before me. They, are, they had to be placed into a plaque and held upright in the right position in order for them to work right. In the 1970s, a new cone style was developed to help to eliminate some of the errors and deficiencies with the large cone. We have identified that there are over 20 different variables that affect the bending point of a cone. By taking those into account, the development of a self-supporting cone was made. A self-supporting cone has a wider base and can stand freely on its own. It is built into it, the mounting height and the bending angle, initial starting angle for the cone. That is what has allowed us to shrink the standard deviation performance of a large cone to make the self-supporting cone much more accurate. In fact, the self-supporting cone can duplicate its performance to within two degrees C. That is why we offer and recommend the self-supporting cone.